Okay, so the funny thing about this recipe is it's for 35 to 40 people and it calls for 10 pounds of beef, which is like, I was like, how, what, who, when? We are not entertaining 40 people right now. Today we're making a chili. I'm using the good old classic silver palette. I grew up with this book and I love it. And it's basically got every classic recipe that you'll ever need. So we're making a chili. I'm using this as a jump off point. It is by no means the same recipe because I don't have everything I need. And anyway, I like doing this thing. So it's a pantry made jump off point, the silver palette. I got some really nice tomatillos. Uh, I got some really nice tomatillos uh, in my delivered groceries last week, and I didn't know what to do with them because I don't usually buy them at the grocery store. So I was like doing all this research, tomatillo recipes. Gazpacho came up a lot, but it is not gazpacho season. It was like snowing two days ago. So I'm gonna make a chili. I'm pretty confident chili's like pretty easy, anything goes. That's what I love about chili. And I'll be tasting as I go, which I recommend you do always when you're cooking. I've got some pepper, I've got some tomatillos and some tomatoes, minced garlic, chickpeas, ground beef, you can do turkey, you can do no meat, or you can do like a meat replacer. They call for black beans, I don't have any, so I'm gonna use chickpeas. They call for Dijon, always have Dijon and some nice spices. I don't know like if it'll be as good as this one because that's not what I'm making and I've never made it before, but I know it's gonna be good because chili is simple, you know? Serve it with some nice bread, serve it with some tortilla chips, and you're good. I'm doing like a tenth of the recipe, but I'm also just using my judgment. Chili for three rather than 40. Here we go. <laughs> So we're gonna saute the onions for about 10 minutes on medium heat. Now I'm adding in the beef and I'm just gonna break it apart, up a little so that it can cook evenly and there aren't like huge chunks of beef. It gets easier like the more cooked it is. I waited a little longer to add in the yellow pepper because I want it to be a bit crunchy and fresher tasting. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in the garlic and the salt and pepper and the tomato paste. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of chipotle chili a full teaspoon of cumin. And I'm gonna do a tablespoon of Dijon. I'm just gonna let this saute a little bit so that all the flavors can come together. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in chickpeas. That's a whole can. I'm gonna add the tomatoes in and the tomatillos. These tomatoes are fire roasted and diced. I've never tried them before, but I'm super excited because I think it'll go really well. It smells so good, those smoky roasted tomatoes just smell amazing. This is still a little bit dry. What I'm gonna do is add a little bit of bone broth that I made yesterday. Now we're gonna let this come up to a simmer for 20 minutes. Tick tock, tick tock. That's my time passing sound. Uh, so obviously it's the evening now. The chili cooked for 30 to 40 minutes. I'm gonna add in some parsley and then let it cook for another like 10, 15 minutes. I might even do like some stems. Some people don't like parsley stems, but I feel like they're gonna cook a little and they're so good for you. So I'm gonna put them in. So there we go. Coming up to a simmer. So here we go. Mmm, it's good. I think I did pretty well. The flavors are really good. The tomatillos are delicious. All the like random ingredients that I put in are working really well. So it's almost perfect, I would say, if I do say so myself. You can put some cheddar cheese on this, some grated cheddar on this. You can add some hot sauce. You can also put in kale if you don't have any parsley. The possibilities are endless. 